the story of Terry Hitchcock and the two marathons that shaped his life, the one he ran and the one he lived. The five of us was a very tight family, fun, telling jokes. And I got a call one day from Sue, and she said, would I mind coming home? She said, I just came back from the doctors. The doctor said I had breast cancer. When Sue died, I said to God, you know, how come not me? But I think I had a lot to learn. I began to appreciate what single parents go through. Someone had to get out there and talk about what these kids need and what these families need. I said, I want to do a marathon a day. Now into the unknown. If you look at this guy, you do not think this is a marathon runner. Well, he's 56 years old, he's on high blood pressure medication, and I don't think he's really ever run before. What did I get myself into? Numbing cold, stifling heat, uphill, downhill, day after day. You know, his feet were just eaten up from the constant pounding he was taking. I started to feel real dizzy. Everything started getting red. I'm getting chest pains. I felt that this was a calling for me. If I could just get out on the highway, somehow I could tell the story of what I knew kids were going through. Dr. Terry Hitchcock. Millions of children in this country are being raised by single parents. It was very cold. There are all kinds of side effects from not getting their cousins. It was 24 hours a day. Now the people around you are starting to go away too. I do not want to lose my dad. Every one of us can do something, be a hero, be somebody's hero.